There's never been a better time to get serious about transporting your minis than now. Spiky bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and today I have a pretty interesting hobby product to show you. I had been seeing these rolling portable rolling carts at tournaments for the past couple of years. They've been gaining in popularity, so I thought, I was like, hmm, there might be something to this. Like, is that not just a cheap piece of crap that, you know, you don't see people return to an event the next year with? But as I started to see people returning with these uh, same carts, I was like, hmm, maybe there's something to this. Maybe it does hold up. And it, it really surprised me once I got it in my hot little hands. So this is something I found over on Amazon. It's the Olympia Tools Pack and Roll Cart. And I'll put the affiliate link uh, you know, below in the description of the comments or something like that so you can click on it. We do get uh, a little bit of a spiff off of that. I do have to tell you that. But that isn't really why we're doing this video. It's because I've actually used the crap out of this thing since I bought it and I'm quite, quite pleased with it. Best of all, it's very, very lightweight in addition to what I'm gonna show you and how much stuff I'm gonna show you actually fits on this stupid thing. It's crazy. Uh, I never knew I didn't need this until I actually got that. I was like, where's my cart? Oh, I didn't bring my cart, crap. But it's, like I said, it's super lightweight. I can even lift it up with one hand here using the one hand held they actually give you. So it's a really, really, really great product that uh, I think we need to take a look at. Okay, so here it is. And you can kind of see it's very, you know, it doesn't look like much, kind of like the Millennium Falcon, but it's definitely got it where it counts. Now, it's got these really nice casters down here, which you're really not going to see because they're out of frame for the most part. But just know that there is uh, two little brake systems. You can push these down and they will hold. They will hold pretty good, but, you know, don't don't lean on it. Don't be like, you know, putting a bunch of force and things on that. Now, assembly wise, it comes basically like this out of the box they got the box in the mail it's literally this tall i don't know what is that like three and a half feet 34 inches something like that uh we'll get you the exact specs here in a second and it, literally all i did was just unbox they had a little bit of uh cardboard on this so it wouldn't go down because this is the only thing that keeps it from retracting now you also notice that i'm basically using the casters in the upright position so when you don't need this ie at your game table or at your house in the corner you just can literally just lean it up against the wall and it's not going to fall down it's not going to mess with anything until you need it and when it is time when it's go time so to speak really all you got to do to get it ready to put your miniatures on is just pull it flatten it out and this little lever in the back right here you literally just push down and then once it's down it's locked into place you're good to go nice and sturdy it's got 150 pound capacity believe it or not and um, the casters are really good quality they will uh, roll over asphalt and concrete and other surfaces you don't obviously want to go over like big uh, ruts and things like that uh, if you feel nervous about your things maybe falling off the cart because of the vibrations you can it is very lightweight as i already showed you you can probably pick it up to get a little out of the parking lot and then get it onto the sidewalk and roll into your game store or something like that or just for rolling around your house into your garage from your garage working on your car something like that but either way um you know it definitely is a definite help especially rolling down from the tournament hall uh, to your hotel room or vice versa with all your things on it. Matter of fact, I'm going to load this up here in a second with uh, everything that I would take to play a typical game of Warhammer just to show you how much stuff you can actually fit on this. Now, measurement wise, I do want to cover that. It's 34 inches tall, uh, roughly, so almost three feet. It's 26 and an eighth this big and 15 inches wide right here. So you could do some display boards and such to kind of put them right into here and have, have something that's nestled and then put you know your, your drink coolers or uh, your book bags and things like that with all your books underneath it. And you could even just leave it right next to the table already preloaded, ready to go. So let me go grab my stuff and show you exactly how easy it's been for me to transport my miniatures around here lately, not just uh, at going to the game store, but also just here in the office too. So here I've got it loaded up with my Sylvaneth army for Age of Sigmar. 
Uh, up here, I have little uh, shoe, I guess they call these plastic shoe boxes with some foam and my miniatures until I get them all magnetized and into uh, a special case right here. And on the bottom or in the middle tray here, are all those beautiful trees they've come out with. And as you can see, demonstrated by Annie Cat, this is also a cat-friendly car. Well, she's, she's thoroughly unimpressed with it right now, but she was a second ago, and that's what counts. That's what counts, that still counts. So, <laughs> and then underneath I have my to-go bag, which I put a lot of my paints and different things and palettes and whatever project in one of these crates that I'm working on currently. But what I did there was simulate my kind of cooler uh, which I can't grab right this second. But so you can put your lunch, your drinks, all your stuff in there. And then my satchel bag that generally has my iPad and whatever hardcover books uh, I need to play my games. Now, like I said, it's super lightweight. So like when I go to the game store, I actually don't roll this over the asphalt because it's kind of rough asphalt they have there. Although I could, but I don't want these falling off. But like I literally can just pick this up and walk the 20 feet to the sidewalk and then just boom, I just roll in with it. And easy game, easy life. When I leave, generally I'll just leave it up on the sidewalk and pull my car up and just load it into it. It's just a little bit easier, but uh, it's it's just a great, super help. Now imagine you're at a tournament, you got this much stuff. You just roll out of bed, you know, splash some water in your hair, maybe take a shower, grab something to eat, stuff a muffin in your mouth, throw your, you know, you already have your cart ready to go, you roll it downstairs into the elevator and boom, you're out on the tournament floor ready to go. So I think, you know, in both the casual and the more competitive settings, it's it definitely has a place. And for the price, I mean, I just don't think you can beat it for what seems to be, you know, a pretty durable aluminum frame with some very, very strong uh, plastic sides right here. That, like I said, I've seen folks with these year after year. So they gotta be good quality. I've been very impressed with mine so far. I've had it for about a month and a half, been using it on and off. And like I said, I, I definitely think it's gonna hold up. So uh, make sure you check that out. We'll put the link in the description and also in the comments as well. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I love bringing you these like really interesting kind of hobby type um, products. If there's something out there that you have seen that maybe we can uh, get in here and, sh and show you and demo for you, please, you know, leave it in the comments because I always love uh, checking out new items and things like that that are out there. Um, either hobby stores or on Amazon or something like that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.